Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are going to build, can I say this? Let me see. We are going to build the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. That's it, I did it. <laughs> I had to practice that. The Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa, 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 the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. That's exactly what I end up with. Anyway, we've got five bags and uh, there don't appear to be any stickers here. How are there no stickers? Maybe they'll turn up later. Anyway, the Lego Movie 2 sets are where mini dolls and minifigures can hang out together and here is the first mini doll. He is not just any old mini doll. This guy is a sparkly vampire. <laughs> I didn't actually pick up that his name was Balthazar in the movie because I don't tend to pick up lots of stuff, but Balthazar, we now have got a vampire and he looks very, he looks kind of sad. But how can you be sad when you've got sparkly, glittery hair like this? Isn't this a great hairpiece? <laughs> and here's something cool. He has a second head uh, with the crazy face. So the crazy face head, which we'll just put on him now. I was wondering why. Why did Lego give us two heads? This is so cool. And I thought maybe it's like with the mini dolls. No, the mini figures where you've got two different faces on either side. But that's not the reason. I'm a bit sad about that, but we do have two different heads with two matching identical hair pieces because this head is designed to go on his bat form. So when Balthazar decides he's going to be a quite freaky looking bat, well, oh, or back again into a <laughs> disturbed looking teenager or just simply back into the crazy bat. He, he, he's got two separate heads, so we can do both at the same time. I forgot to put his cape on, so let's do that. He can't be a properly sparkly, tormented teenager vampire mini doll without his sparkly cape. So he's got a cape and he has got a rough part, like an up, up witty cape thing. You call it the rough, I suppose you do. So it's the collar. So they're not supposed to coexist at the same time, but we'll just put, <laughs> we'll put Balthazar and Bat Balthazar back here. We'll start building the spa itself. Now, this is kind of an unassuming looking set on the front of the box. It just kind of looks like a lot of blue and white. So let's see whether it is actually more exciting than it looks on the box. And so far we've got some translucent blue stairs with pink underneath, which I think is pretty exciting because to put the pink underneath the translucent blue adds a really nice depth to the color. And now we've got some, we've got, we've got some mid pieces and some teal pieces. And we are, looks like we're going to be utilizing a lot of pastels. Of course, having said that now, we've just put a whole line of blacks along here in a little row. And that's where my pink piece went. <laughs> it's funny how they turn up when you have to go look for them. <laughs> it's funny that. And these weird bright green pieces that are going to be completely covered up. So they're not actually part of the color scheme. They're those really colorful pieces that you often find hidden underneath others. I love these curved semicircle pieces. They are so cool. And we've got some cogs, which in the instructions shows you very particularly where you need to put the arrows. So I'm paying attention to the instructions. So the arrow needs to be going up. And this is looking cool. So this is going to interlock with another gear piece and the arrow needs to face that way. And we put these on like that and then they go on. Arrows are in the right direction. Looking good. So we've got some sort of moving interesting component going on there. And this is a circle shape. So I'm going to assume that this is going to be the interesting moving component or well sit on top of it. So if that goes so it goes like this and round and round and round it goes. Well, not it goes forwards and goes backwards. So the Balthasar can go frontwards, backwards, forwards, back, forwards, back. Let's put on a, let's put on the crazy head because I think it's awesome. I just love this crazy eye head. Oh, nighttime, daytime. All right, let's put him like this so we can keep building. <laughs> but I think I could play with that little turny component all day. And I probably will, but we've got a whole heap of building to do. So focus. It's time to focus. We've got some nice tall mint pillars uh, on either side. Uh, and we've got some round pillars and he's going round and round. Nighttime, daytime, nighttime, daytime. I can't actually figure out which one's nighttime, daytime, daytime, nighttime. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. I have to. I have to stop having too much fun with <laughs> the roundy bit. All right. We've got another roundy bit up here, though. So Bat Balthazar can hang out up here. Oh, quite literally, actually, because this part here. Whoop! Nighttime, daytime. This part here is for. Hold on. No. Does he go? Yeah, so this is where Bat Balthazar hangs out, literally, like I said. And they're going to be able to change. Do the change, Rooney. If I can get him to actually fit through that gap, 
that there we go that's not very <laughs> it's not very spectacular though if he has to have his back facing us is he gonna oh he does fit okay so he does fit nighttime daytime nighttime daytime Ah, that's so cool! All right, so we have got a switcheroony bit here, and now we get to put some nice icy components up the top. Everything's components today for me. This is a component, that's a component, and that's a turny component. Oh, this is on the wrong spot. This is why he doesn't look... Now he can face forwards more comfortably. It works perfectly now. Oh, cool! All right, so for Bat Balthazar's transition, he has got a fantastic turning door, and now we've got some potions of some description. We've got things that they're going to need for the spa, some squishly lotion and some fla fla. Yep, that's what they are. All right, bag number two. <laughs> what do you think the potion should be called? You tell me in the comments. Now we have got Wildstyle in this particular set. She's got her cranky face. She's got a quite happy face. Let's put her cranky face on for now. She has got out her hair when it has been washed out. So she's actually called Washed Out Wildstyle for this set. Washed out wild style. She gets like a special name for it. And Benny, who doesn't get a special name for this set, Benny's here <laughs> having a marvelous time. Shall we do the really marvelous time or just the marvelous ish time? There. That is the contented Benny face. So we got Benny, we got Wildstyle looking quite cranky at him for having such a good time. And they are going to hang out in this spa once it's built. So let's keep building. Let's. Oh, gold brick. Look at that. I don't know that I have many gold plates like that. Ooh, so what are we actually building here? Whatever it is. Oh, oh, look at those little eyes. I don't remember this character at all. I, I think I need to go and watch the Lego Movie 2 movie again. Look at the little tail. <laughs> so this is Archimedes. I only know that because I read the description, but Archimedes is really cute. I have no idea what Archimedes' role is, but obviously he's going to be working in the spa. He's pleased to see Benny. Benny's pleased to see him. And I'm pleased to see Archimedes. So let's continue on with our spa building, which is, wow, it is resplendent with pastels. Look at those purples and the pinks and the... <laughs> so pretty. It's really pretty. So it's not just the blue and white that it kind of looks like on the box. Oh, I like that. I like that little entryway with the stairs. Isn't that such a cool configuration? How that you've made some really cool angles with those white triangle pieces. That's really cool. All right, so this uh, connects on over here. Ooh, that's nice too, because that's angled as well. And this goes, oh, it does. Okay, so it goes all the way over to that side and now there's no gap. Well, that's cool. This is actually really a very interesting build and Benny is thrilled about that <laughs> well still still cranky so let's build some more pastels we got some pink pastels some purple pastels which just pretty much got covered up and those green that light green there when we put the blue translucent pieces over the top of these pastels they're just so lovely they're so textural this they're, they're just like I said before they've got such great depth of color now this is looking really, really good. There's not a lot to play with it in it yet, but it just looks spectacular apart from the nighttime, daytime bit. Okay, we've got some icy, a little icy tippy top for the pillar that we've just built. It's so nice. And down here on either side of the steps, I don't know why I tried to put that in without the flame on it, we have got a couple of little flames to light the way. Okay, so they're naked flames. <laughs> they're open, so hopefully nobody burns themselves on. We're up to bag number three and we get to build some more characters. So another one of those gold plate brick things, and we've got claws on either side. We've got a little matching, little matching chess piece there, but this one's pink. <laughs> there are lots of pink in this. Oh, we've tippy topped him upside down, and I still don't know what, what we're making, but it's really cute. Okay, so we've got a pink, a pink piece with some hearts on it to make what I think are supposed to be wings. So, oh, that's so cool. I love, love the new little teeny tiny heart tiles. They're so useful for adding like texture for scales and feathers. Plus they're really, really cute just on their own. So we've got two little wings and this is way too big to be a wing. This is on a little heart plate tile thing. And this is big. Oh, this is the tail. This is the tail feather, a big pink tail feather. Oh. <laughs> this is this is Flaminga and Flaminga even though Flaminga is 
pink and flaminga has got an A on the end and in Italian if a name or a word ends with A it means it's a feminine but I really think that flaminga looks like flaminga should be a boy. I think that flaminga's a boy. I'm going with flaminga being a boy. Now here's flaminga's little legs. Well, enormous <laughs> sticky little legs. <laughs> They're so cute. I love these really whimsical buildable animals in the Lego Movie 2 sets. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> He's so good. All right, we, 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 we've got to continue building the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. Have you tried saying that 10 times? Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. 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 Shimmer and Shine. I don't know. I've given up now. I'm pretty sure I didn't make it to 10, but it was really getting worse the more I tried to do it. <laughs> it's really hard to say. You need to say it. It is like a tongue twister. And while I practice my tongue twister, we managed to build this whole next section of the Shimmer and Shine Sparkle Spa. And we've got another little icy pillar, which is same, but not the same as the one that we have on the other side. Same kind of idea, but it's not the same. It's not an identical build, but it's got all those little shield shapes. Ah, more alliteration, alliteration. Shield shapes in the translucent blue. We get some more transparent pieces with some more pastels up here. So gorgeous. We, oh, <laughs> it's just, it's really a feast for the eyes, this set. This is coming together very nicely. I didn't actually expect to enjoy building this that much, to be perfectly honest, but it's gorgeous. All right, so I'm excited. We are up to bag number four. There are five bags in here and we've got another gold plate. So we are building another creature. Another crazy, that wasn't supposed to be on there. That's a hinge piece. We need a little four piece there. Another crazy creature, oh, with purple arms or lavender arms, like light purple. There's only four arms and it's ironic because this creature's name is eight. And there's only four arms. So it's not an octopus, it's a quadrupus, which doesn't exist, but <laughs> it's hilarious, it's called eight. Okay, he's holding a teapot and he's delivering cups of tea and that's what those arms are really useful for. That's so awesome and we're covered over those naked flames now with some little balls, which is also awesome because I was worried that somebody was going to set themselves on fire when they were walking up this central walkway here. Okay, some more mint pillars going up and they're going to frame this main entryway so beautifully. It's such a pretty colour. It's very peaceful to look at. And we're making some really nice shapes with the angles on these too. Oh, speaking of angles, that just went together so beautifully. Check that out. This is a design and a half. This is really, really creatively designed. Okay, we've got some little pieces here that are going to attach to our hooks. Big sticky things. And we've got to make another couple. And they are going to finish up our entryway like... Oh, did I miss a piece? Oh, no, no, no. This needs to click in here. That's nice. It's a bit wibbly wobbly at the moment, though. So... When we put this on over the top, hopefully this will hold it in place. So these little gem, pointy any gem bits actually hold it in place. That's so clever. It's really, really, really clever. Okay, we are on the top of the spa and we're still just adding ornamentation. This is basically a showpiece of, of, of interesting building and interesting crazy architecture it's so cool we've got some more of these gem these angled gem pieces like we've seen in a lot of the elf sets and they're so pretty and this one goes here and we have a matching one on the other side and they make a nice sparkly spiky tippy top there this is also clever too that's a nice way to make an angle so that that looks really good okay what else can we possibly be adding up here oh we're adding speakers of course we're adding speakers why on earth do we need boring grey speakers at the top of this really fantastically coloured spa? Mm. Okay, we're up to bag number five. Speakers be gone. I don't think we need the speakers, but I'll leave them there because they're part of the build. Let's see what we've got now. Are we building another creature? If it is a creature, it's a weird looking one. Oh, look at that. It's a massage table. <laughs> That's perfectly sized. <laughs> okay, so Benny is having, no wonder he looks so happy. He's all ready for a massage. And we've got a Unikitty. Wow, so many different characters in this set. So we've got Unikitty or Battle Kitty. However, here you go for this particular set. This is not Battle Kitty. This is Calm Down Kitty. Calm Down Kitty. Calm Down Kitty. 
<laughs> Kitty's about to get Kitty's horn. There, does she look calm? I don't think Unikitty ever looks calm. She might need a massage. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. All right, so Benny is patiently waiting for his massage, but he's gonna have to wait a little bit longer because we've got to continue on this side of the spa. So we've got a spectacular entryway, and I put that in the wrong spot. There we go. Spectacular entryway in the middle. We've got a nighttime, daytime bit for uh, for Balthazar to turn into his vampire bat form. And on this side, we have got... We're kind of creating... We're creating a... I don't know. Is it another room? This is pretty. And this is going to be hidden on the inside because it's not a colour scheme that actually matches anything else. We've got a hinge on here. So this is going to move... We put it on here. Oh, ah! Oh, so this is gonna be like a, the big tub that they throw Wildstyle in, and then we can change Wildstyle's hair. <laughs> in she comes, all goth and bad already. And when she comes out, she's all kawaii and colorful. <laughs> all right. Okay. So let's see. Let's try it out. So look at that. So we put it in a tip, and she tips out the back. She's still looking really, really cross though. <laughs> I'm not going to change that. She gets to stay cross for the whole time. So a nice big spa. <laughs> oh, and the steps up to that. This is like, it's like a spa on a pedestal. Okay. That is quite a deep spa now. <laughs> and we're making it quite a thing. It's like a throne spa. It's got all these little pieces on the side so we can put a lid on it. And when we put the lid on it, they actually, the characters don't actually come out the back quite as smoothly. So I don't think it's designed to be used with the lid down. No, I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> it doesn't work. Okay, so when you want your characters to disappear at the back, you need to put the lid up. Okay, we don't have too many actual spa things happening yet. So now we get to have some of those details. So this is like a little hair washing basin. And that goes over here on the side. It's kind of like an afterthought. Okay, so we've got a nice little hair washing basin. We've got some shampoo, I assume, that's in the little box there. And it's looking good. Now we've just got some, uh oh, some more open flames. And, ah, uh, no, no. See, the instructions even said I shouldn't use the white one for this. I'm supposed to use the transparent ones. And I had forgotten by the time I got to the third flame. <laughs> so smart. <laughs> Shortest attention span ever. Okay, so what are these? These are like little teeny tiny tables. And oh, maybe these are for the for the characters like like eight and Archimedes to hang out on either side of the of no, actually I don't think so because they don't actually fit very well there. And where they're detachable, and because they get a whole heap of little lotion bottles and shampoos and uh, <laughs> whimsical looking things on them, which I mean, what's that for? <laughs> what is that for? This bottle I perfectly understand. That weird little upturned pink stud. I don't know what that's for. But it really doesn't matter because it's just supposed to be nuts, isn't it? All right, we have built the whole thing. It's visually so gorgeous and it's actually quite a tricky build. It doesn't have a lot of play potential, I don't think. There's not a lot, apart from having Benny embrace the spa lifestyle. There's, it's just full of nuts, crazy characters. And it's, I think it's going to be more of a display piece, but... I just love these crazy sets. It's so nice with Betty's face. He's so happy. It's so nice to build something that's a bit different with colors that you wouldn't you normally use together. So it was so, so cool to build this. What did you think of the build? Let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe now because that's your job because we've come to the end. And make sure you leave me that comment because I like to know what you think. And I'll see you with another video very soon. So Benny's going to have a nice massage and I'm not. Oh. <laughs> Bye.